Hi everyone, today we're talking about my biggest investment, Microsoft. Um, I just thought I felt like talking about this stock because at the moment it is the best performing stock in my portfolio this year by far. I mean I had Adobe and if I held Adobe, the Adobe would be pretty close to Microsoft but I sold out of that one and I've only kind of like missed out on $10 really so far from selling out on that one. Um, but Microsoft at the moment is by far my biggest position and it's absolutely killing it this year. It is all massive. I bought in around $89, $88 per share and just as I'm recording this video it's just gone above $100 per share which is crazy. Um, my target for this year was $105 to get that stock up to, I said it would get there by the end of the year um, and looking at it it's only now like $4 away um, from getting to that price. And sometimes I, I do normally set targets for stocks and I, whatever happens I normally sell at certain targets but these kind of scenarios where I won't sell and I've been watching Microsoft for a while, I've been invested for a while, I keep up to date a lot and Microsoft is absolutely killing it this year, um, just everything is going right for them. Uh, it's a great stock, I mean $100 for Microsoft and you get that dividend as well, you get that growth which is excellent. Um, the cloud services that they're providing now are, are really good and Microsoft is probably one of my definitely on the available on the market would be my five favorite uh, five best stocks I would recommend to buy right now um, really good company I think if I had the choice between Microsoft and Apple I'd actually consider probably choosing Microsoft over Apple um, but Apple's another great company um, which if there was a dip I would get into Apple but Microsoft is just doing so well for me now and I said that I would set a price target of $105 and I would sell out of Microsoft at $105 per share and I've actually changed my mind now I've set a new price target so my price target now for Microsoft is that I'm probably going to be looking at selling out about $115 ish I've just seen that it's uh, by an analyst it's been upgraded to $120 per share um, which is far more than what I have on it and potentially you know if things go right then I could ex extend it even more but Microsoft is a stock that I want to carry on hold at the moment. I still believe in it big time. The forward P on it is like 28, even though it's a P of 60, um, which is a little bit overvalued. But when you look at the, P, the forward P, it's not too bad, really. Um, but just a great company, especially with that dividend as well and how cheap shares are. Um, it is my biggest position, and I am, to be fair, considering buying a couple more shares back into it now. Um, I'm looking at, hopefully, the stock dropping down to... Um, about 98 per share that's where I'm looking at um, if I was to buy in or 97 ish um, just top top them shares up slightly um, is where I'm looking at going with it now um, but certainly the, the year news report recently and where the company's going um, definitely stock I want to be holding uh, and have even more shares of um, so if I just update you with that and how Microsoft are doing um, potentially at the moment I am looking for a fourth stock so as you know I'm currently invested in Microsoft my number one position uh, Boeing number two position and PayPal that is my number three position and I am looking at a fourth stock because I've kind of just got a little bit of money at the moment and potentially I could pick up a fourth stock um, the fourth stock would be the fourth smallest investment or potentially third if I see something that I really am tempted to get into um, so I'm going to do a video hopefully on Sunday or Monday about talking about which stock that fourth stock might be. Um, I'll give you a clue. Um, the company that I was very close to picking but I'm not going to now, they just got took over by these guys in market cap size. Um, so that's a clue of who I was looking at but they've just gone up 5% so they probably won't be them now. But um, you'll have to wait to that video until you find out who I'm looking at uh, buying potentially as my fourth stock. So, so guys, give the video a like and I'll see you on the next video.